Yeah, I'll go on right that way. Come on. Oh, Judge, no, I don't know. No, he wasn't. I didn't count him. How about him, though? How about him? Yo, Oh, yeah, right now, go! Yeah. 
I pour oil in it, you know, I spray it, I make sure my junk shiny, puffy, I'm always picking my hair. I'm picking my hair to, to the point I don't have no dead hairs. Yeah. So, um, my mom, you know, I'm being raised up in, in the Pen Haitian, Pen Lions, uh, Holiness Pentecostal, mm -hmm. I don't know what to call it, but yeah. being raised in that household, um, you know, you're supposed to have a brush cut. That's what they believe in. Mm -hmm. Like, if you grow your hair like this, you look um, not presentable. Yeah. And, um... So, one day, um, my mom always tried to get me to go to the barber shop. I'm like, no, I ain't finna cut my hair. So she like, she not gonna argue with me. And at the time, I I had like um, all the, I had a couple brothers sisters. No, I think I had one brother that stayed with me, and then um, two of my sisters. And it was a four bedroom house. But everybody had their own room except me, cause I'm the youngest, I'm the baby. And I slept with my mom. And so um, she got me. One day I slept too hard, and um, she had done. She passed my head in the middle, like she cut all this hair. But I mind you, I was infatuated with my hair. Yeah. I slept hard. And the, the, what was bad was the day before, mm. I was talking to somebody about cancer. And I don't know how I mixed up cancer and the alopecia, but <laughs> I was talking about cancer. And so, you know, I'm a normal routine. I wake up in the morning, got everything ready, got the shampoo ready. So I'm in the shower. I'm, first thing I wash is my hair. Put the shampoo and wash my hair. I'm like, okay, dead. I see dead hair. Okay, dead hair. <laughs> More dead hair. Like, whoa, hold on. This a that's a chunk. That's a chunk. oh Lord, I got cancer. I got cancer. I'm thinking I got cancer, so I'm like, forget the shower. I whip the curtain back and I look in the mirror and I see a patch. I'm like, oh my mom got me. I was so angry. And there was nothing I could do, so since, like, you know, I, you can't, that's my mom, like, I ain't, yeah. okay. you can't put your hands on your parents. Yeah, my mm. sister, my brother is getting it, but that's my mom, so I'm like, dog, what can I do to make her feel how I feel right now? Because, like, my whole world ended, like, and I was like, oh, I got a trick. You always, like, talk on the phone loud. <laughs> Shoot up, I'm way to the shoot. Got some hoes.
trying to kill her. I ain't looking for the swoop, I need a bitch with that man. I want a bitch with some loot, who gon' take care of me? I need mean, make sure her kids smash me up, you did. I won't stop that money for the GD. And I ain't talking about a show. But it's like, um, but for the most part, you know, we vibe, we have a good time, and everybody go home. I mean, when we was jits, um, when I was younger, you know, we ain't have no sense. So the youngins, we just go to the club knowing we finna fight, knowing yeah, we finna get into something. Because that was a lot the, of them was there that night, was younger. They didn't get in the yeah, club, but they was out there. You know, that's that, but that's that's what we was on as, yeah. as a young man, man. You know you you getting fresh as hell. You spend right. all the money on your clothes, but you know you finna go. Why do you know you're gonna some, fight? Because you know you're gonna run into the opposite. Like you know, yeah. at, at, down here <coughs> it used to. Well, I ain't say it used to be. It kind of still is because you know every hood hang with most mm -hmm. of the niggas that grow up in their hood, or for the most part, um, if sometimes you know I might I got a couple friends from different hoods as mm -hmm. well, but that's at the time. That's how it was, strongly. Like, it was just like, these my niggas, because they from my hood. Even though I'm cool with you and you from yeah. another hood, if some shit pop off, I'm finna get on, finna jump on your ass, because yeah. I'm with yeah. my niggas, you right, feel me? Like, right. I, it ain't no, after that, we ain't yeah. friends no more. So, but it used to that's be just me. what it is. But like, as wow. I got older, it's like, man, I'm not going to know. I start. I hang with older people. Yeah. Up. Like, I never mm -hmm. hung around people that was my age. When I was doing the stupid stuff that I was doing, I was with older people that were older people than me, but they mm -hmm. was immature as well. So, <laughs> yeah. but like, as I started getting older and I graduated from hanging with them to even older people, when you go vibe with the old, grown folks, they ain't on this. Like, I yeah. go to the club, like, I'm out of, I feel out of place. Cause I'm like, man, well, <laughs> Ain't nothing finna go down like, man, this man looking at you crazy like I'm about to offer me, like, boy, yeah. you better chill. And I'm like, dang, it's, it's, it, it was different. And then it was like, eventually they caught up mm -hmm. onto, you know, where I was at mentally as far as when you're going out and how to conduct yourself. You know, just have a good time and take your ass yeah. home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because everybody that was with you all with the shirts on... They was cool. I didn't see no drama with them or anything. You know, I mean... Was they around your age group? A lot of them was your um, age group. Huh? I got a lot of youngins. Like, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a mixed crowd, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, I go off vibes, like I said. Like, I don't care if you if you in middle school. You can yeah. hang with me as long mm -hmm. as you mentally ma mature enough right. to, to hang out and know how to conduct yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, if anything was to happen, like, we, we good, yeah. man. You know, like... If I can hang out with grandma, yeah. if I can hang out with anybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That we just going to vibe. That's what I'm about, just vibes, man. Mm -hmm. I love vibes, yeah, positive vibes. Yeah, me too, vibes. positive vibes. You know, and then all that That's negative gotta stuff. Be. You come around me talking Ooh. about somebody. <laughs> you come around me, you know, bad mouth with your own friend mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Yeah. Well, if I see that. You already know. That's what I say. 
Like, people come, if they come telling me about their friend, I'm like, do you really think I'm going to trust you? Nah, nah, you ain't my friend. Right. I mean, you just showed me right there where your loyalty at. <laughs> yeah. You have no loyalty in you, so. Not now. For the most part, that's, that's what I... Mean. It's Demon H. It's Demon H. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, I'm a day one hustler. Yeah, if it don't make a dollar, then it don't make sense. Yeah, the trap open to folk. Seven, even when the niggas sleep, we still running up the jet. I'm a day one hustler. Yeah, if it don't make a dollar, then it don't make sense. Yeah, the trap open to folk. Seven, even when the niggas sleep, we still running up the jet. I was running up the check ever since I could remember. I was that little nigga selling ices in the summer. I was always by my bread. I was always on the come up. Never had no dad. I ain't had no one to look up to. Mama looking at me, shook her head. I say, Mama, why you shake your head? She say, you just like your daddy. You a paper chasing junkie. You ain't never gonna stop until you're dead. Huh? I could turn one into two. Yeah. And I could turn two into four. Yeah. The moral of the story is that any work you give me, I'ma double that bitch for more. I'm a day one hustler. Yeah. If it don't make a dollar, then it don't make yeah, the trap open to four, seven. Even when the niggas sleep, we still running up the check. I'm a day one hustler. Yeah, if it don't make a dollar, then it don't make sense. Yeah, the trap open to four, seven. Even when the niggas sleep, we still running up the check. I ain't worried about a hater, I ain't worried about the next. I'm too busy getting paper, I'm too busy counting check. My I feel like 21, I'm just stuck. See me in G5 last week, I made a mess. Uh, bartender struggle with my one. Say my shooter made it in that with a gun. They ain't got nobody try me, cause you would have bought a body, and I never would have made this song. Yeah, fall every day, money long. Yeah, this bitch think my name is John. Yeah, I love to stay the night, but I already got my nut. Gotta go, money, call him my phone. I'm a day one hustler. Yeah, if it don't make a dollar, then it don't make sense. Yeah, the trap open to four, seven. Even when the niggas sleep, we still running up the check. I'm a day one hustler. Yeah, if it don't make a dollar, then it don't make sense. Yeah, the trap open to four, seven. Even when the niggas sleep, we still running up the check. I'm a day one hustler. If it don't make a dollar, then it don't make sense. Yeah, the trap open to four, seven. Even when the niggas sleep, we still running up the check. I'm a day one hustler. Yeah, if it don't make a dollar, then it don't make sense. Yeah, the trap open to four, seven. Even when the niggas sleep, we still running up the check. See my first on the green, you better get it like me. Watching the green, but it's already blue. So it's my little dog half when he's five and a two. She's deeper in the rap. I got people on my back. Half a million for the cops. Get reefer in the back. H in the line. Yeah. Pick your white caps. Leave these bumps in the beers. So I'm gonna leave it yeah. like that. Just a million dollar nigga from Uptown, baby. Got more money, so we spent more crazy. Hundred real nigga never get faded. New whips, so we play them dead. With the brand new shoes, brand new jewels, with the brand new tools, with the brand new crews, brand new booze, that's what we do. Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This for the bird lady. So, yeah, nigga. Frank Beach, Ocean Sea. The sea, red, sea, beat. UPT, where I beat. Comfortably believe. Look at what the spade on. Scrapping that jewel so we pay it on. Lay it on. Lay it on. Lay it on. See a feel like it's your brother. Lay it on. Lay it on. Good with the cake. Yeah. I'm a nigga. That's all. Well, I'm a little nigga. I'm good with the spray. Young money. Everything. Oh, 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 oh,
Straight shot. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know how to record it out. I'm just, I'm going the whole song, running out of breath, just going the whole way. Like, what are you doing? I had a song on the radio, but you know how dreams is, they're weird. Mm -hmm. but the dream was like Rick Ross was on the song, and the song was dope. Yeah. But when I woke up, I couldn't remember nothing. I'm like, I got me a hit, I'm finna write it, and I'm just blow up off the song. Mm -hmm. And then I was just like, you can't remember. So I, I played it on I mine. Know, I feel you about that. Yeah, sure. And then when um, I was, I, one day I was at my brother's house, and um, he was, I don't know, he went out, and I stayed there. He came, he called me on the way back. He's like, man, you tripping, bro. I'm like, what you talking about now? You feel me? He's like, oh man, you know, he was telling me that when we were riding, because we, we we together a lot. Yeah. And, um, and you know all the musicians. Yeah, who like, blow. yeah, like, right. I'll pre like, I wouldn't predict him, and I would tell him, like, this That's artist is going to blow. And, yeah. like, you know, I'm putting them on songs that are hot months before, before. people getting on the I song. And um, he was like, man, if you know what it takes to make a hit, why not make a hit yourself? And I'm like, you do have a point, but I'm not trying to hear this right now. Did you like rap in the bathroom and stuff like that? No, I've just always been into music. Um, and it started since I was a child. Because, you know, my mom, I used to go to church. We used to be at church every day. Yo, say the five Pentecost. Yeah, every day. Uh, couldn't wear a pan. No, no pan, no we jewelry. We couldn't cut our hair. We couldn't dye our hair. Nothing. I was just telling my friend. I said we were so. It was so strange. <laughs> that's how we grew up. Yeah, that's how it was. I had to sneak in with the music. Yeah. Exactly. That's that's the lifestyle that we grew up in. But I never go to the church. I never go to church. 
I never was into the word. I was always mm -hmm. into the music. Mm -hmm. Like, um, and I grew up in the Haitian Pentecostal church. Mm -hmm. So it's like. Oh, it's the Tentile Stricker, right? Yeah. And, oh, wow. and when he doing the music, everything is on the go. It ain't no rehearsal. It's, yeah. it's everything. We gonna make this right now. Like, yeah. they gonna start singing. The <laughs> instruments gonna start kicking in. And right. It gonna be some ad libs mm -hmm. over here, and that's how that's how it would go. And when I would be at church, I'd be like, you know, if I was playing drums, I'd be doing this. If mm -hmm. I was playing a piano, I'd be playing this note. Or if I was, you know. The leader or whatever, however you would have called them people that, um, I think you called them, um, I forgot what you called the people that be singing. In the but choir? Yeah, the, yeah, the people who lead them, yeah, huh? you know, I would, I would be, I would have made it go a certain way and it would sound better. Yeah. And, um, after a while, you know, as you get older and your parents less stricter and you ain't really got to go to church that much, yeah. you know, I just was into music. Growing up, I was in the band. Mm -hmm. um, I went to Portway Middle. They had the best band, and my, my music teacher was very, very strict. Mm -hmm. And um, I never used to understand then, but I understand it now because yeah. I apply that to my music. Um, like, everything has to be a certain way, and when something is like one note is off, it'll destroy the whole song. Other people, to other people, it sounds like it's okay, but to you, you know it's not okay. And I apply all that into the um, all that into my music. I just always love music. I don't know, I wanna say I'm a fan of I wanna say I just love just hip hop. I love all music. If it's just music, I love music. If it's music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I feel you. I feel you. So that, yeah. that's what I'm So and that's why you can tell who's gonna blow. You know? Yeah, a lot of people like they're not in tune, that their spirit ain't in tune with the music that they're creating. Right. Cause you can, you can hear it like yeah. um, I don't mean I don't, I don't talk about anybody but when not to say that I'm the best to you know do this but when you you can tell because certain sounds that come out you can tell that that those notes on your voice do not match the beat mm -hmm. but to them it's they feel like it's catchy and it sounds good and that's that's not how it goes. So. For me, it's like I'm just blessed to put in a position that the things that I come up with, mass majority of the people like. Yeah. And I just be like, well, then I guess I'm, I'm just born to do this. Yeah. You know, so, and I always been good. I taught my like I know I was born to do this because I taught myself how to play every instrument that I learned how to play. I, I, uh, first, my music teacher uh, taught me how to play uh, the bassoon when I was in middle school. Then every other instrument I learned how to play on my own. I learned how to play the trumpet the on my own. Huh? A bassoon is in the clarinet family. It's like one of them big long things. It got. I, I have to show you it. Okay. I have to pull up a Google the picture, okay. but it's a big long ugly, mm -hmm. big old bass clarinet. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. And I learned how to play that, but it wasn't cool. So I just I used to always want to change. And mm -hmm. He used to be tripping, but I learned to play that. Um. Then I then I taught myself to play the, the saxophone, not saxophone, the trumpet. Then I taught myself to play the baritone. Ooh. Then um, when my nephew came home with a tuba one day, and I was just like, man, yeah, wow. play, play that too, you feel me? And I taught myself a little bit how to play the piano. And it was just like, it's, it's to other people, it's like, they look at it like, okay, it's hard. But for yeah. me, it's like, anybody can do this, but I didn't know that. So it's like when I get like when I have an entourage, and that's why I don't like going to the studio with entourages because they'll say, you know, oh it sounds good, but no, it's, right. it's, it's right. not good. It's right. not to my standards right. of what it need to be. Because if it's to my standards, mm -hmm. it's gonna be way up right. here, and y'all gonna be like, wow, yeah. I see why he was doing that. Because it done been like wow. I have a, I want to say like two or three songs that I have did thus far that. <laughs> I've recorded over like a gazillion times because it's just not to that standard. 
even um getting a song mastered, it was like not to my standards. Like I gotta, you gotta redo it, gotta redo it. I don't like this mix on this one. All right, let's try a new person. You know, I want this sounding like this, and if I can't get it like that, I'm not putting it out. Yeah. Um, even with the song myself that we released, um, even though people love that record, it could have been a to me. It could have been a gazillion times better wow. because I see, I hear the flaws. Mm -hmm. but other people, they're not gonna hear that. Yeah, but I hear, I hear the flaws yeah. when when it comes to that. I didn't want to release that record, but it got to a point where I just felt like, all right, I'm done, like just putting in the work and not getting the results that I want. Mm -hmm. So let's time to let people hear, you know, what yeah. I'm saying, and get my get my feedback. Mm -hmm. They let me know if it's trav, I need to go regroup or, mm -hmm. you know, stick in that lane. And, mm -hmm. Mass majority of people that I play the record for, they they like it. They like it. So I love it. So what was behind the my, uh, myself? Like how how you came up with that? Myself was a record. <laughs> Where was you that, at? When it, def you? it defines me. Um, I was driving when I when I was um when I heard that beat, and I was just like right. And then at first, I was like, now I'm gonna do the record a certain way. Like this, but then I don't want to sound like this person or that person. I'm like, man, I'm myself. Like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this record like you know myself, and mm -hmm. that's just what it was. And then everything else behind the record was just about being me. This right. is what I'm about. I'm about getting my money. Mm -hmm. You mean but on that? Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear it because I ain't got no drum time for drama. I ain't got no mm -hmm. time for none of that. I'm just straight mm -hmm. by my corners and. I ain't about to follow nobody because that's how you end up in crazy situations. Yeah. Or Because for me, if I follow behind your wave and you already planned 10 steps ahead that you you want something else, when your wave die, I'm dead too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, and I'm, yeah. that's, you see how I am. Like, I dress like myself. I don't comb my hair. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, you feel me? I, I just create my own wave. Man. Yeah. That's just what I'm about. Yeah. Create my own wave. I've never your been a follower. Your hair is catchy. Your hair is catchy. Yeah. 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 Man, I appreciate that. I've I just never been a fan of following behind right. people. I like to be a trendsetter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And do my own thing. Yeah, do your own thing. And that just did me. And, and, in it, and, and also, when I was writing that song, I thought about, like, my nephews, my little nephews, and stuff like that. Like, I have to be somewhat of a... Give them a song that mm -hmm. that has a meaning that um an anthem yeah anthem that they can actually sing and and it's a good message behind yeah. it but it sounds good mm -hmm. yeah because a lot of people feel that way you know being they self and I think it's gonna touch a lot of people a lot of people is gonna and you know feel feel how you you gonna feel how you felt when you wrote the song you know I think they're gonna feel the same way yeah I definitely believe that um a lot of people gonna feel that way. Um, for the most part, when, um, for me, when I hear that record, um, I hear it in a different perspective. Yeah. I hear it from me recording that record versus everybody else. Like, when I wrote it, it was a different feeling, but me recording the song and hearing it on the speaker, for everybody else, they get a diff they get a, a vibe, a different mm -hmm. vibe to it. For mm -hmm. me, it's just like it's a different meaning for you. Yeah, it's just like this is this is me. This listen yeah. to this record. Mm -hmm. This is who I am right here. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm about right here. Like Stephen H. Polo. Yeah. Plenty of you, but there's one of me. It's only one me, man. <laughs> Yeah, what we at? Yeah, man, we got here to chop a can and tell you a lot of that. I mean, fuck it, man.
Uh, this one is Polo at my single release party. If y'all don't get that, if y'all don't get that single myself, y'all better go get it right now, man. I'm telling you, it's fire. This is burn up the streets right now. How does it burn up the streets right now? What's your name, man? What's your name, man? Y'all myself. Y'all hear it from me? Yeah. Shit. Don't need to compete with niggas like y'all. Y'all don't tour no 
shit. See me to speak up, nigga. 319 shit. Don't be ducking like you never wanted nothing. Where they at? Like rap chains. 239 in here. Back when never nigga reached. Yeah, let's go. Nowadays, nigga streets just a second. Where West Side at?